And what he keeps it and puts it to the flat. That's Lake McCree, the tight end. What a play design. He hurdles. For the country, we see that now. Jones pushes it around. This is Addison. He's got the edge. And the transfer. Heck of a block there on Joseph. SC rolling. Playing with tempo. Now Williams, who can run, makes the cut and slides down. A sudden burst that he picks up seven. Whiffing. Defense had scored 40 plus. Its last five games comes out humming here. Empty backfield. Williams steps up and now flips it to a man. And the catch is made by Taj Washington. Touchdown. USC. Trojans right down the field to strike first. Watch this play right here and watch how much pressure is put on these defensive backs to try to stay with him. Here he is in man to man. Now you got to deal with a quarterback that's creating. You want to get your eyes on him to be able to stop him from scrambling. Williams launches into coverage. Shoot Irish to intercepted. You, you can see right there. Morrison, the freshman, not even ready at the snap, but the safety because the ball was put up in the air. Xavier Watts with a chance to go up and high point that ball. So now it's third and five. Williams has plenty of time. Now steps up and delivers a dart, and the catch is made by Addison. He's so dangerous after the catch. Williams looking the other direction and flips it short. Kyle full. Irish showing some pressure. And they bring it on second and five. Williams pats the ball and flips it high. Jones is the outlet man and stutter steps all the way here. Take it to Jones, backpedaling, trying to create on the move again and fires to the end zone and it'll be pass interference. One by each team. An elder receiver downfield offense, number 72. Pass interference defense. Fouls will offset, second down. Interesting formation here. It was Addison in the backfield. Now he motions to his right, comes back. He's got the football. He flips it back. Mario Williams tried to get it to Caleb Williams, and the flag is down. Was it Caleb Williams? Yeah. Maybe. Pass interference. Offense. Yeah. Number 13. Yeah. 15 yard penalty. Second down. Not something you see. Second time tonight, 26 in position for an interception. Costly though, because it moves him back 15. Now it's second and goal from the 20. Williams, pressure, drops. Uh, they've been able to run the football, but most people tune in to see what Caleb Williams is all about. It's about creativity. Take the tight ends away. Somebody's got to account for the quarterback. You take the quarterback away, he's going to throw the football. You're always going to be short with Caleb Williams when he gets into that zone. From the pocket, throw far side. It was Jones motions out on third and six. Receivers stacked to the left side. Single coverage for Addison on the right, and that's where they look. And Addison goes into the boundary, creates all that space, and a one-on-one. -on -one. Only one defender with his hand to the ground here, but they bring some pressure. Williams backpedaling, trying to escape again, still alive. And now sprints and fires downfield, and the catch is made by Mario Williams. That shows a ton of belief that they actually went to play. Yeah, he had backpedaled so far. I thought he made the first down. It's going to be a pooch punt. Williams even does that well. Just stakes the snap. Oh, Nobody no, back deep. No. Did he kill it? No, it rolls into the end zone. So it's a 58-yard pooch punt. Stink. <clears throat> With the play fake, you pitch it on the edge. And Taj Washington is. They show late pressure. Williams steps up and delivers. And then Mario would see coverage here. It sinks. And then you get soft coverage on the back end here from the safety in the corner. So you got a big window right there. Good job of being patient. Bertrand does come. It's picked up extremely well for a while. But now Caleb going forward. Like a joystick out there, the human joystick, and a man left alone. And Addison made the catch, he bobbled it. Oski, who's going to bring the pressure, but then after this, watch how he just, it's its like Patrick Mahomes. Watch him just kind of backpedal. He gets her out of that. Now he's going to backpedal. Come on, come on, come on. Which way am I going to go? Okay, off to the right. But the vision downfield. That's the thing that's crazy is he keeps his eyes downfield. He baits the defense. Free play. He drew him offside. Williams, will he take a shot at the end zone? 
And with his free play, he's still backpedaling and just heaves it downfield into traffic. Didn't really matter. Irish, you're going to lose five yards on the penalty. <laughs> Offside, number seven is declined. Holding, number 11 is accepted. At the distance of the goal, penalty, first down. Jones is pretty swapped. Williams fooled me, fooled the defense, kept it. A keeper for a touchdown, and Kayla Williams having an outstanding half. That's one of his. Here, they're going inside here to make the read on whether to hand it off or to pull it. So he's on the inside on Riley Mills right there. He takes the back. No problem. I'll pull it out and I'll walk into the end zone. So really good job of staying on that mesh point. Ride it. Make that big defensive lineman take six. You pull it out and then you're able to get into the end zone. For a touchdown. That's a late pull, isn't it? He it really saw the is. back was getting yeah. swallowed up. Yep. A little risky. You don't want to lose the exchange. You got to have strong hands, right, to and execute it, that. And again, if you ask any defensive coordinator out there watching right now, their worst nightmare is not just him scrambling around and creating and all the off schedule stuff. You throw in his ability to run six, eight, ten times with those zone reads. It is a such a difficult offensive package that Lincoln Riley has pressure on this Irish defense. It's Williams in motion. He catches it behind the line. Addison throws a block, and he just makes dudes miss. Running with passion tonight off the play fake. Williams. Catch made down in close. Taj Washington caught it. Chance to make a play on the ball, 24, but by the time he realized the ball. Play on it. Good focus downfield. And with Tempo, Williams flips it in the flat to Mario Williams. To fight. A couple of tight ends in there for the Trojans on second and goal. On the move, Williams flips it, and it's not. Three guys bunch to the left, two receivers to the right. Here comes pressure, ball out quickly, catch made. And really Brian game winning streak for modern day snap last night. Wow. Oh. Collision in the backfield. Who's got the football? It's Williams, and he'll just slide down. It was a, a traffic jam there behind the line of scrimmage. Jackson just running right into the backfield there in Barlow. Boom, big collision. So what the heck? I'll take it myself. I mean, look at it. He's still, he's still riding that mesh. He still was like, Barlow, you going to take it? Am I going to take it? Williams has time against the four-man rush. Backpedaling, scanning, now running out of time. Circling back. Joystick on the move again. Are you kidding me? Caleb Williams dancing, cutting, mesmerizing run by the quarterback. Finally dragged down at the 20. It's a highlight reel tonight. I, I, he did the Heisman pose earlier. If he wants to do the Heisman pose after this play, I'm okay with it. This is absurd. Just dancing around, he got a hold of him. This is what's crazy is you, you keep contained, he cuts back underneath it. And he's not looking to get down. He's looking, he's just a smart runner in that open field and so elusive to go with that power. He's like, funny, he ran out of gas, but he like, ran I'm, him down. I'm, I'm done. It shows in the fatigue, mental and physical fatigue with another big run. And they're playing with tempo. And Lake McCree, the tight end, makes a catch. And they find second and goal. Tight end of the backfield. They fake it to him. Williams on the move. He'll just saunter into the end zone, looking back at the Irish defense. Second. Brown over here, but he can watch him get tied up at the line of scrimmage with the backer. Eyes go there, no problem. There's no edge to the defense. And once he turns the corner, nobody can keep up with him. He gave uh, Jack Kaiser a little look back as he kind of Went across and he's well aware of what a big night for himself could mean. Could it be a third USC quarterback? They're putting the crown on him at this point. How about this play? We are, I mean, this will be, Chris had host the Heisman Trophy. I have a feeling this play might be displayed that evening. Look how many yards he runs on this scramble. I think it ends up being over 80 yards and a first down.
Flexa low snap, gets the ball out quickly, and the catch is made by Brendan Rice, who breaks free. Rice in the perimeter. A personal foul, face pass, defense, 15 yard penalty after the end of the run. First down. He got four receivers into the boundary, and he got one receiver. Look at all those defenders into the boundary. Okay, we'll take this one on one matchup on third down. Back shoulder, and there's the grab of the back of the helmet. Straightforward drop back and escapes pressure. Well, not so fast. Late flag comes in. Williams still alive. Are you kidding me? They simply can't get him to the ground, and he flings it off the hands of Austin Jones. They simply cannot get I, their I, arms on this guy. I, I, this one would have come back because Monheim got caught on another hold, but it sure is fun to watch 13. Holding That's offense, number 79. 10-yard penalty. Second down. Georgia's had two penalties all night. They got four now in this drive. And there, yep, there he is again. That's one way to stop 13, right? Couple holdings call, call holding calls. Well, in, in your theory, it sets them up for even more hit theatrics here. It's second and 26. Everybody we talked to from Notre Dame this week, Al Golden and, and Marcus Freeman, most notably, said, hey, "It's one thing to get to him, guys. We got to try to bring this guy down. He he spins out his." His lower body strength, he spins out. Now he's just ho-hum tying his shoe. I mean, it's a tough thing to sack this guy. Keep going the wrong direction on second and 26. They flip it to Addison, and he's going to lose more yards. The ground. There's third and 28. Little shuffle pass inside. Brown dancing around, and is gonna, he's going to punt it again. Yeah, this one is fair caught at the 10 yard line and I'm shocking the yeah. Bayou Bengals Williams keeps it first down touchdown that's a hat trick of rushing touchdowns for Williams to go along with one in Vegas on Friday but Caleb Williams giving folks a lot to remember tonight in LA Now the party on Caleb Williams leading the group over there for a play late reading the end man here on the on the line of scrimmage Safa Mensa just collapses down We've seen this time and time again where he makes that long mesh point gets some good blocks and then just high steps and jumps into that end zone. So we began the night Kirk, talking about things like the playoff and the Heisman and it's been a great night for Williams in the ladder department. It's going to get bigger and better for Lincoln Riley here in L.A., but in year one to be in this position is remarkable. And Caleb Williams tonight, was, we, we was the human joystick. Keep in mind the quarterbacks he's worked with are Jalen Hurts and Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray, and I don't know if he gets as excited about those guys or this guy, but, man, he did a little bit of everything, running, improvising, creating. On this play, he ran 82 yards officially for a big scramble, and finally he just goes into the end zone on, this, on a different run. It was just, you can't keep up with him. We can't keep up with him on a highlight package. What a night. Energy to jump around at the end. Three touchdown runs and yeah, it's meticulous preparation. Highly detailed all the things that have gone into getting him here. No detail ignored, but the exuberance of the performance when it all comes, comes to life on the field is something to see. He's with Holly. Caleb Williams, a special night for you tonight. I see you've got the game ball tucked under your arm. Why? Uh, no, I normally, I normally keep every game ball, to be honest with you. There's no, there's no special reason on, on this one. This was a good performance, though. You were under duress a lot, trying to escape and continuing to extend plays. How were you able to do it? You had some epic runs tonight, Caleb. Yep. Um, coach always tells me um, I am a little bit athletic sometimes. Um, so use my legs when I can um, and, and, you know, go out there and be special. We had one play where you went 81 yards on a scramble. Do you remember the play and what's going through your head as you're trying to stay alive? Um, I do because I was, I was a bit tired after the play. Um, just go make a play. Uh, the the O-linemen did an awesome job. Um, and, and the defense, they, they dropped back and, you know, played some coverage. And um, the, route, the route tree that we had um, wasn't working. And um, I tried to scramble and... Try to make something happen. 
you came here for moments like this, and now your team is on to a championship opportunity. What does that mean to you? Uh, it means everything. Um, and it doesn't mean everything because we're going to, to Vegas for a, a championship opportunity um, and, and possibly something after. Um, it, it means the most because of all the hard work that, that these guys have put in. Um, and then also these guys that, that have been here. And He's a Heisman! All, all these guys um, that, that hasn't, haven't had this opportunity um, and how much they trusted and believed in, in Coach and, and what he was bringing in and then also me being back there behind him, um, supporting him in every way possible. So um, it, it, mean, it means a lot to me. I know you, Caleb, and you are only focused on the bigger team prize, but I saw you drop that Heisman pose tonight. Yeah. What did you do tonight that felt like a Heisman-worthy moment? Um, not that tonight I felt like it was Heisman. It's just my teammates told me to do it, um, and they, they kept saying do it, so I, I ended up just doing it on one of the touchdowns. You're not going to backpedal that right now, are you? Come <laughs> on now. You were great tonight. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. It wasn't the biggest Heisman post. It wasn't what Desmond did him out in the open field <laughs> in the end zone, but he it looks like his teammate his, asked him to do it. It but. looks like his teammates kind of baited him. Come on, man, do it, do it. And he did. Was teammates said